So welcome to painting seven, um, session one, another painting in the collection body of work, which I am doing for this particular showcasing. So retheming the universe and this again I'm starting the painting off with pure linseed oil, boiled linseed oil to give it a nice surface to work on. And I'll be mixing a quite a limited palette again, <clears throat> the same turquoises, purple, black, and um, I'll see as I go along. And here I'm just going to create some interesting shapes and put the paint on quite blotchy and not, nothing too, too precious. I do have a picture on the right which I am using as a reference guide. There's no need to show it because it's not a replication of it, but it's just giving me a, a nice starting point and some structure in my comp initial composition, which is very helpful at first. And then at some stage in the painting, I separate myself from it completely and make it my own. But initially, it really does help to have something to work with, I find in my particular case. It's some, yeah, there's some dark patches because it's all really just painting atmosphere and and um, there's nothing solid like stones or streets or houses, there's no landscape. This is looking out into the vast cosmos, so anything is possible out there. So that gives me a lot of freedom to work that way. And um, I have noticed the colors are quite. I wouldn't say limited, but there is a particular sort of spectrum of colors to work in. But then within that, you can create some beautiful subtleties, subtleties which just um, blend in lovely. And one has to be careful not to go too bright and too much color because it can quite easily become very noisy, which is fine if that's what you're looking for. But I'm actually looking for something, this body of work to have a nice, quiet, relaxed sort of meditative feeling and um, a feeling that gives a painting that gives you a sense of calm really it's kind of what I'm working towards in this collection of work so I will be sort of dealing with that more or less and um, I'm just initially adding filling up the canvas looking at my rough reference and um, now it's just the top right corner see at this stage it's not so much pressure it's just basically putting it down covering the canvas and now that I've got everything down I can bring out my cloth again and the cloth does help to bring out the whites because it does sort of rub because the, the paint is the canvas is quite wet now of course because it's got a lot of linseed oil on it and by rubbing it like this I'm creating nice textures and removing some of the paint which gives it a a lot of more white comes through and luminosity again but in this particular painting i'm going to actually use another technique here after this which i'm going to with a turpentine i'm going to I call it my turps trick <laughs> so i will when we get there i will elaborate a little bit more on that but for now just to soften the edges a little bit and to create a nice harmony of colors blending and composition I sort of I use the cloth at first, it does make the whole image a little bit more organic and painterly and playful and um, guides me also in my brush making, marking, brush mark making, which will come after this. And um, now the clothing is almost complete. Don't want it to go too far because that we can, I'm working with layers, building up these paintings through many glazes with linseed oil so therefore it's good to start thin and to just work up and keep that luminosity and let the painting at layers show through in the end so if I have 20 layers like oh yes okay here we go this is now now that I'm using turpentine and I'm bringing it to, I'm basically only loading the brush with turpentine and rubbing it over the paint with the linseed oil so they, 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 by their mixedness 
They co coagulate in this sort of strange way, the two mediums, and leave me a lovely texture to work with. So I work quite freely and follow the lines with my brush that I have made with the initial composition. And now as it runs, I just take the brush, the dry brush, and work it in slowly so when the textures start settling kind of guide them a little bit with a brush and pick up paint pick up turpentine and pick up some linseed oil so actually reducing again and this whole process just continues through so i've got a few shots here i'm not going to film it all because it can become boring i've given a few i've taken a few shots of various areas of this painting where i do it with different colors and you can kind of pick up how it influences the, the picture and how you can flow from one color to the other and of course the luminosity of the white underneath does come through and it's, it's as I mentioned it's nice to work thin and not to have too much paint and stodge at first if I'm going to glaze more and more over this painting once it dries but by doing this it creates me another dimension of texture like for this dark area here for instance I del deliberately painted it very dark and thick and so knowing that with the turpentine it'll create beautiful textures and images as I sort of brush push the brush mark around and um, create a certain dynamic in the composition and it's very wet at the moment so there I will take a dry brush now and as a guide guide the lines the way I want to, pick up some of this of the paint and work quite carefully into it meticulously in areas as I please and it creates this unexpected lovely um, atmosphere because these are atmospheric paintings like here for instance this is a very white area but yet with the turpentine mixing with the linseed oil here it does sort of give me a a little bit more variation in that area as you can see for yourself and then with a the dry brush on top of it it does really create um, something to work with because this will now this painting will now be left for another two or so weeks until it's nice and dry and once it's all settled and it's dry and I work over it I can really start to use what's underneath and stuff that has really worked and it's come out beautifully you know, use it to my composition my next layer because I have no idea with the next layer where I'm going because after the first layer like now I still have a little bit of reference I lose my left reference completely and start working with what I have put down in the first um, session so yeah here this is quite interesting how the colors mix together one side is more grey and the other side is more burnt sienna and the subtle mixings of colour that sort of create themselves on the canvas and on planned will give you a lovely variation of tones and hues and um, at this stage I'm, I let the paint help me along the way a lot actually I let the paint help me along with most of the painting process right towards the end and once I get to the linear phase towards the end is when I do control it a bit more but at first the first three to four sessions are pretty much a relaxed sort of um, intuitive process and I just carry on it's almost as if you're pouring acid on something it gives you a very nice unexpected feel very pleasurable to do this process can take up to about this process actually took me in real time about I'd say two and a half to three hours to get this done can spend a lot more on it depending on how far you want to take it but in my particular case I felt it was enough so I'm trying not to get too busy on this on this um, body of work I want my paintings to be quite minimalist I can say almost reaching or leaning towards minimalism in a way and um, and yes so this is a little detail here with a dry brush you see there I use the brush I keep picking up the paint the turpentine and the linseed oil and keep drying the brush so that I don't get it paint too muddy and work it in systematically this takes quite a while because as you're working it's drying and it's very enjoyable because by brushing it that way 
all sorts of little crazy textures and shapes develop and I'm hardly even touching the paint or the surface it's a very light very light and then I can bring the cloth back in again here for instance I wanted some very luminous white contrast so then to take off all the paint in the areas one can bring in the cloth which I do and then use the brush to soften it again and yeah this is just a repetition of the same thing I think this is the last session of this lot and then I will um, let the painting go to sleep for two or three weeks and revisit the surfaces and see how it's dried and what has actually come out quite nice because everything doesn't necessarily come out that spectacularly that's why I can then work into it again but it's a nice surface to work with this would be the seventh one now so I've got seven I'm probably going to do about ten and then work on that ten at the same time go back to the first one and and keeps the work very interesting and very exciting so that's what I have come up with now because I can hang my paintings anyway I can do it that way you know turn it around rotate it I've just given images from all four positions okay and then that'll be it for this one until I get to the next one I quite enjoyed this session quite a lot